The first way that bile trouble can lead to weight gain is that we use our bile to help us emulsify or break down our dietary fats. And when dietary fats can't be broken down properly so that the body can utilize them, they can become rancid and toxic and become a problem to the body. Anything the body can't utilize becomes a burden. Now the body has to figure out how to get rid of it. Like if you're a mechanic and somebody gives you a broken truck for free, that's gold. You can sell it for parts, you can increase your profits, but if you're just some guy and somebody gives you a broken truck, now you gotta figure out what you gotta do with it. Now it becomes a problem. Now you're just a guy that parks a broken truck in his front yard and here's your HOA letter. Now, dietary fats have a wide variety of purposes in the body. There's a lot of needs in the body where it requires dietary fats. But if the dietary fats can't be broken down so that they can be utilized by the body, they can become toxic and become a burden, and the body can actually store those toxic fats in fat cells. Now your fat cells expand and guess what? So do your pants. The second reason that poor bile flow can lead to weight gain is that we use bile to neutralize the acids leaving our stomach. Bile is very alkaline. So when it comes down and hits this acid product that left the stomach, it creates this sizzle. It would kind of be like mixing baking soda and vinegar. You kind of get that freaky sizzle thing going on. And this sizzle is what helps us bust the food apart and pull all the nutrients out of that food. So you really need both sides of digestion going correctly to create that sizzle, to bust the food apart and get all the nutrients out. If you don't have that sizzle, you're not getting all the nutrients out of your food, which is going to lead to nutrient deficiencies. Now a big problem with nutrient deficiencies is that that can lead to cravings. Cravings are a signal that your body's saying, hey, I, I need more stuff. I'm not getting the stuff that I need. And the problem is that a lot of times cravings mean that we're gonna give in to more sugars and carbs. The sugars and the carbs are easier for our body to break down and turn into an immediate fuel. So as we gravitate to giving in to all of these cravings, it's gonna be a hard, hard time sticking to any type of proper diet. Problem number three, the liver is in charge of converting our T4 into T3 so that that T3 can be used by the thyroid. That's just one of the liver's jobs. But when the liver's overwhelmed because it's doing all this work, removing toxins, but the toxins aren't being taken out the back door, now now it has to focus more on this toxic environment. It can't do all the jobs that the liver is intended to do. So when it can't convert enough T4 to T3, now the thyroid will lean towards the hypothyroid. And the thyroid's not gonna function correctly and it's gonna slow down our metabolism and lead to weight gain. But you can see that it might not be a thyroid issue. It might actually be a liver issue. And if they can focus on improving liver function by helping bile flow so that the trash can go out, then maybe the thyroid will be able to work correctly.